you might expect to come to Brixton Village Market for a bite to eat. But with cafes and restaurants still closed, this week it's been transformed into a street art gallery. Elena Gonzalez curated this exhibition. It features the work of 30 female artists and celebrates International Women's Day. She has found street art to be a creative outlet during the pandemic. Uh, we've been able to still painting on the streets because uh, we, you know, we have like big walls. You take distance, and you wear the mask. So for us, for us, it's our therapy. So people go to the gar uh, to the park to to a sport. For, we needed to go out and paint. Data released this week by the Office for National Statistics found that women's well-being was more negatively affected than men's during the first year of the pandemic. Women reported higher anxiety depression and loneliness than men and were more likely to be furloughed. But some artists have found that demand for their work has risen during the pandemic. Natalie Wells is an art teacher who sells her paintings exploring femininity and body acceptance on Instagram. You see what's important um, and it's like you see what's important in terms of what you're doing with your time, who you talk to and maybe like how you think about yourself. Um, as well and I think for a few people kind of investing in a painting of themselves as well has been like a way for them to be like oh I've come out of this really hard year and I actually want to love myself. Um. With studios and galleries still closed, murals like this one behind me which popped up just a few days ago are a sign that while life may not yet be back to normal, Londoners are still finding ways to be creative. Bella Soames, City News.